engagement, community outreach, kind of the whole package. And we had an amazing group of ladies. We had over 80 entries overall. We had 12 amazing finalists. I mean, there wasn't one that was better than the other. It's, the sad part of it is, is that you have to have one winner. And we had a great winner this year with Rachel Attila. I also want to uh, thank our sponsors. We have some of the best sponsors out there and continue, continue to work with us on that. Um, I had to write them down because I was nervous. Um, I want to thank Swarovski, Weatherby, um, Bowtech, Ripcord, Badlands Packs, Fog, Zamberlin Boots, Buck Knives, Skull Hooker, Hunter Hills Journals, Acclimate, Icebreaker, Shoot Like a Girl, Her Camo Shop, and Caribou Bank, uh, Game Bags. They've been great supporters and they really do put a great package together for the winner. And also a big thank you to Mobadiri Safaris because Rachel's actually going to go to Namibia next year on a great hunt. Oh, so, yay. Very nice. Um, and I also want to thank, give a shout out to our judges. They've been awesome. We've used them for every year we've been doing this and they're just great industry people. Um, big thank you to Diana Rupp, Jim Zumbo, Guy Eastman, Ron Spomer, Craig Boddington, Julie Golub, and Tracy and Lanny Barnes. Without them, we wouldn't have this. So. Thank you to everybody. So with that, I want to say a little bit about the award and why we're proud of what we do. Um, we work really hard in bringing the women of the industry together, and I think we hang our hat on this award and what we do with that and finding amazing ladies. And we take great pride in the fact that these ladies all work together. There's no competition against them. In fact, they've all been working together to get a hunt together after this. So it's, it's a really cool statement of the spirit of this award and the ladies that embody this. So with that, I want to announce Rachel Attila. There's a few people here. I would just like to thank you all very much. There is one thing that is in this industry, and it's banding together. I started out at 11 years old, and I went up to a hunting outfit, and they thought I was just some scrawny punk kid from Kelowna. A few years later, I started guiding, and then they started wondering, oh God, we've let a blonde haired blue-eyed girl loose in the mountains. What the heck are we going to do now? I would never have thought of any of this. Last year, through a random connection, I randomly ended up here, and I was here to congratulate Ruth with her award. Through all of us women, if we have done something good in our campaign, it's spreading the word, making this community, working with each other, saying that we're a strong voice in this as well, and we have banded together, and hopefully, it's my hope, deep down inside, that we can make a better place for the women of next year, the women of years to follow, and the generations that are going to come in this great hunting community. Thank you to the sponsors. I'm standing here shaking my knees, and I usually can stand here with a grizzly bear charging and pull up, you know, the old draw. So I would like to say thank you very much to Christy, to Catherine, to all the wonderful women at Proas, a bunch of the people that are just standing in the audience um, that have helped me in my campaign. I hope one day that I can help someone the way that you've helped me. So thank you very much. I hope you guys pay attention in the next few years. We're going to try and get something going. There's a possibility of a TV show with a few sponsors, and we'll see what happens. As long as we can move forward and help women in the industry, that's my goal. Thank you all very much. Christy? So congratulations, Rachel. She's amazing and definitely will represent the spirit of this award and everything we have in our vision. So. Oh, and sponsors, you guys are free to come up and get photo ops with Rachel. <laughs> Christy charges, so just, uh, I know where the keg is, right? <laughs>